Hello everyone, I hope you're doing alright. Today we're talking about the Ruffian Scoundrel. Ruffian is a fun little melee dot spec, does a whole bunch of damage, lets it be a little roly-boly boy, and do a whole bunch of healing as well. So let's talk about it. Brief scammer as usual, I'm not an expert on the spec. I'm just a nerd that plays a lot of spoiled horror, but if you have any recommendations, you can feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Help out your fellow players, I'm sure they would appreciate it. All right, let's talk about tertiary stats. Looking at 110% accuracy in PvE, and then as little accuracy as possible in PvP. Do a lot of yellow damage in the specs. You don't really need the accuracy for PvP. For your alacrity, you're looking at like 7.2% alacrity. That should compensate for most of your lag issues. And then just dump the rest into critical, and you should be ready to rock and roll. For your tactical, we're going to be using the Synox Shots tactical here. Uh, it's just extra free damage on a Sanguary Shot, which is very, very nice. Um, there are some other options here. For example, if you want to be a hardcore memer, you can use your Catalyzed Toxins, which is going to do finishing all of your dots on the target at once every time you use your Sanguary Shot. Uh, it's more of a meme than anything else. I wouldn't really recommend using it, but it's fun. Uh, and then for viral elements, it's great for PvP fluff and great AoE damage. So if you're using this, you're just going to do your uh, Sanguary Shots, then Bushwhack, and then you're going to Point Blank Shot everyone to death. Um, but it's more of an AOE situation than anything else. We'll just be talking about Synox shots for now. For your legendaries, you're looking at the Tactician's Package here. Tactician Package gives you a flat 10% crit chance almost all the time. It's very, very nice. And then the Locked and Loaded Package is going to give you a 5% uh, bonus damage to range and tech attacks. Uh, it's free damage. We love to see it. Love to see it. For the combat style here, we're going to take the Brutal Return. It's going to give you a whole bunch more of these Brutal Shots, which are very, very nice. For uh, 27 in PvP, take Dirty Kick. And then in PvE, take Sly Surrender for the threat drop. 39, Critical Bomb, just straight at the best all the time. 43, Leverage Offense is going to be extra critical chance in damage and healing by 5%, which is very, very nice. Some PvPers will take Hot Streak for the extra DCDs. Uh, it's more of a niche pick for the hardcore PvPers. Uh, leverage Defense is going to be useful all the time, though, so it's really up to you. Scar Tissue uh, is great. It's the best one in this tree here. Extra 5% DR all the time is very nice. 64, all the options are terrible. Take Med Screen. It's the best of the bad options. Trick move is going to be your leap, and it's going to give you an extra upper hand. We'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, it's frankly the most useful of the options here. Moving up the tree, scramble is very, very useful. Uh, it's useful all the time. There are situations, though, where you can use back at you, which can be the reflect. Uh, some PvPers will take back at you. Some people in PvE, which for some bites, will take back at you, especially if you're in, like, veteran modes or heroics where you can be, like, reflecting enemies that are actually going to be attacking you. It's very, very useful. But for the most part, uh, the most useful ability here is going to be the scramble. So those are what I recommend running for your combat style. Let's talk about actually doing damage here. Now, Ruffian is a dot spec, and what that means is that you have abilities that do damage over time. For example, here, if I use my Sharp Bomb, it doesn't do that much damage initially, like 4k damage. Uh, that's a piddly amount of damage, which you're going to see is going to keep ticking over time. You see, ah, look at my, the target slowly exploding with a small amount of numbers. You can track your dots on the target's debuff tray. So, for example, I see that Sharp Bomb here has six extra seconds left on it. Once this little, little light section runs out, it's going to fall off the target, and now my dots are no longer going to be ticking onto the target. Very, very sad. So we want to be keeping our dots in the target at all times. Now, we have two primary dots. The first, as I mentioned before, is going to be Sharp Bomb. Uh, sharp Bomb, Shrap Bomb. Not Sharp Bomb, Shrap Bomb. I'm sorry. Uh, shrap Bomb is an AoE ability here. So if you use it on the target, uh, any other air ability or blah, 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 any other enemy in the area will also be hit by a Shrap Bomb. It's going to do about mm, 24k damage over the course of the next 24 seconds. Uh, so not a whole lot of damage. Uh, but it's uh, it's nice. We'll find ways to increase that damage in a little bit. It does AoEs, so that way anyone standing close to it will also be affected by this 24,000 damage in the next 24 seconds. It's a great way to fluff if you have a bunch of ads on the target. The next dot we have is Vital Shot. Vital, top is a Vital Shot is a single target ability that does like 24,000 damage in the course of the next 24 seconds. Uh, it's very, very nice. We want to be keeping these two primary dots on the target at all times. Um, but it's not that much damage if you really look at it, right? Like if you have both target dots on the target at once, okay, great, 3,000 damage, great, another 3,000 damage, great, you know, 6,000 damage. Uh, it's not that impressive. 
However, there are ways we can be boosting that dot damage. For example, if we take a look at our ability here called Sanguary Shot, a uh, Sanguary Shot doesn't do that much damage on its own, does like 4,000 damage, but what it, what it will do is it'll deep off the target with this little scared looking red man called Sanguary Shot for the next 10 seconds. What that means is that for the next 10 seconds, every time a dot ticks, your Sanguary Shot damage will tick as well. So. For example, if we look here, okay, we have two dots in the target. Oh, that's not that impressive. That's not that great, right? If we use our sanguary shot and go boop, you can see every time the dots tick, it's going to essentially double the dot damage. You can see it's now exploding twice with the beautiful numbers, which we love to see. That's a whole lot of extra damage. So every time you use your sanguary shot for the next 10 seconds, all your dots will tick twice, essentially. Uh, that's a lot of extra damage, all right? But there are more ways we can be boosting this damage. For example, let's talk about our point blank shot. Now point blank shot on its own does a fair bit of damage. It does like 30K damage. It's, uh, it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice. But it'll also give you this little buff that looks like a little shotgun and a debuff trait. Up, oh, I was too slow to the draw. That's going to give you 30% extra crit chance and 30% extra crit damage on all of, of your dots. It's gonna be this little yellow orange shotgun thing here called cut to the quick. And so for the next six seconds, your dots will do an extra 30% crit chance and 30% crit damage. I think Duke wants to go down now. He's had enough woofing for the day. All right, so for example, if we had all of our dots on the target, great, love it, love it. We use our sanguary shot to double our dot damage. Boom, that's a lot of extra dot damage. And we use our point black shot, all this damage is going to be essentially increased by 30% for crit chance and 30% crit damage. It's a whole lot of extra damage. Oh goodness, he's found something else to work at. So, those are the two primary interactions with the dot, but there is one more very important interaction in the form of our brutal shots. Now, brutal shots doesn't do that much damage on its own. For example, if you see me use it here, boop, uh, it does like mm, 11K, not that impressive. Sometimes it'll do like 17K, not that impressive. But what Brutal Shot does is it ticks all of your dots on the target, which would then in turn tick all the Sanguary Shots on the target. You can see where this is going. So if we have all of our dots on the target, if we use our Sanguary Shots and we use a prone break shot for the extra crit damage, we can then use our Brutal Shots and then blah, the target explodes with all the dots in the world in a beautiful explosion of hopefully dead mobs. Uh, it's a great little ability. It ticks all your dots in the target at once, and when you combine it with the extra dots of our Sanguary Shots and the extra crit chance of our Point Blank Shot, uh, that's a lot of damage very quickly. But you're gonna notice that you can't use your Point Blank Shots, or I'm sorry, your Brutal Shots all the time. Uh, that's because Brutal Shots doesn't really consume a lot of energy, but it does consume an upper hand. Well, what's an upper hand, I hear you ask? That's a great question, man. That's a great question, man. So, Ruffian really doesn't have an issue with managing its energy. Because the way the spec works, you're gonna be naturally regening a whole bunch of energy. You don't really have to worry about it. The primary resource that we have to manage is this thing called upper hand. So for example, you're gonna see these guys right here is this little tan guy, it has a two next to it, two is the limit for upper hand. Uh, Upper hand is our primary resource that we have to juggle for using our abilities like Brutal Shots and our Bush Whack. So if you use these high damage abilities, you can see that the numbers can slowly tick down. And if you run out of these upper hands, you can no longer use your Brutal Shots. So the spec becomes kind of a juggling act of keeping your dots up and then generating upper hands and then spending those upper hands on your Brutal Shots. It's kind of a lot of fun, actually. It's a very forgiving rotation as well. So how do you generate upper hands? Well, good question, me. The two primary ways of generating upper hands are gonna be from a Sanguary Shot. Sanguary Shot does actually generate an upper hand as well, which is very, very nice. So you can see you use Sanguary Shot, it's gonna build this guy upper hand, very, very cool. Additionally, we have this final ability here called Blaster Whip. Now, Blaster Whip does like 20K damage on average. It's actually a pretty high damaging ability, and it also generates a stack of upper hands. If you use a Blaster Whip here, boop, that's a nice little chunk of change, and then you're gonna get an extra stack of upper hand. Additionally, it's gonna give you this little thing called unfair advantage. It's gonna be a little yellow looking thing. I, it looks like little triangles. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be there, uh, but this little thing called upper hand is going to give you essentially a free brutal shots. 
So when you use next brutal shot, it's not going to actually consume the upper hand. So if you see here, I use brutal shots. It's going to instead consume the unfair advantage and then give me my upper hand right back. It's very, very useful. It only happens once every 10 seconds though. So for example, if you use the first time we use our blaster whip, we use our uh, upper or our unfair advantage. Next time we use our blaster whip, we're not gonna get that extra stack. So it's just something to be paying attention to in your buff tray to make sure that you are effectively spending your upper hands and your unfair advantages. I know I've thrown a lot at you, so let's recap very quickly to make sure that we're all on the same page. Dots on the target, love to see it. Have the dots on the target at all times. Sanguine shots will build an upper hand and will double the dot damage. Point blank shot does a whole bunch of damage and makes your dots crit more, love to see it. Blaster whip generates an upper hand and a little unfair advantage, which enables us to use a whole bunch of our brutal shots, which will make the target explode with beautiful dot damage all the time we love to see it until you run out of upper hands. Now there's one more interaction we need to talk about here. That is our bush whack. Bush whack will do a couple of things. For one, if we have our dots on the target and we then we use our bushwhack, bushwhack will actually spread your vital shot. For example, if you were a monster and you hated Torian, if I use my bushwhack here, you would then spread uh, my um, my vital shot onto Torian, which is most unfortunate for all the heartthrobs out there. Um, it's a great way to spread your dots. It's a very high damaging ability as well. It does like. 16k damage, not too shabby. Additionally, it'll actually take your sanguinary shot. We'll talk about where that falls in the rotation later. Um, but it's a great little way to dot spread, uh, do a fair bit of AOE damage, but it does consume our unfair advantage. So make sure that you're using your bushwhack appropriately. Now, there is a 32 button rotation that you can learn if you really want to min-max this, this set of skills here. Uh, we won't be doing that. Frankly, it's great for squeezing out an extra like 5% damage, but my goal for you is not to like be panicking about where you are in the rotation. I want you to understand the basics of what's happening in this, uh, this set of skills here. Uh, and then that way you're not trying to like memorize a rotation. You're actually just like following a basic priority system here to make sure that you're using the right abilities in order. And if you mess something up, that's okay. That's okay. Ruffian is a very, very forgiving spec. In that, for example, if I use a blaster whip here, it's not gonna like destroy my entire rotation. <laughs> Relax. Relax. Uh, because we're using a priority system, we just go back to the top priority system. It's a very forgiving spec for those of you who are just getting into it. So let's talk about this little priority system here. I have built this little buff tray. I'm sorry, not buff tray. This is a, an ability bar. Stack vertically of the most important abilities in order. And so if you really want to, you can play this game by just looking at what abilities are highest on the, on the order here, and then seeing what's on cooldown and then playing from there. So you could go, for example, just walk right down the line, boop, 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 all down the line. And then we're just juggling tactical advantages over and over and over again. Love that, love that, love that. And then as these abilities that are higher up the tree come off a of cooldown, you come back and you click them. Uh, it's a very straightforward way to play the spec if you really want to. Um, but let's talk about what's actually going on here. So, do relax, my son. I'm sorry, he's still in the cone right now. So he's, uh, he's not very happy. It's his last day in the cone, though. that's nice. So. First rule of playing Ruffian is always have your dots on. If your dots fall off the target, you're gonna do no damage because the majority of our damage comes from ticking these dots. All right, you're coming up. You're coming up, you little snaker. The majority of our damage comes from ticking our dots, so we need to make sure that we are applying our dots whenever they are falling off. In an ideal world, you'd put them back on right in the last second before they fall off. It's fine if you're not completely accurate with it, uh, but for the most part, make sure you have your two dots onto the target. The second rule of playing Ruffian is have your Sanguary shot off a of cooldown at all times. You want to be smashing it whenever it's available to you. Uh, it does a whole bunch of damage in this spec, especially with the, the tactical that we're taking. It builds an upper hand. It's a fantastic ability. You should smash it whenever it's available, all right? That's rule number two. 
Rule number three is use your point blank shot whenever it's available as well. It does a whole bunch of straight up damage, which we love to see. And additionally, it gives you that extra crit chance all the time, which is very, very nice. Um, so that is rule number three, use your point blank shot. You're being a little, a little stinker right now. So rule number four is a little less straightforward. Uh, it is our bushwhack. All right, you're gonna go down, you're gonna be less of a little rat, all right? Good boy. Bushwhack should only be used when you have Sanguary Shot available for single target. Um, the Sanguary Shot actual damage taking on it makes it a high damaging ability, but if you don't have your Sanguine Shot on the target, you can kind of skip it. Um, so the basic priority system here is going to be applying our dots, Sanguary Shot, Point Blake Shot, and then Bushwhack whenever Sanguine Shot is on the target. And now we've entered the fun part of this rotation, which is going to be juggling between building our upper hands with Blaster Whip and then spending those upper hands on Brutal Shots. So assuming that all these abilities up here are on cooldown, you have all of the dots on the target, now we can actually have some fun and start spending our upper hands and our Blaster Whips. Now, if you are at one or zero upper hands, use a Blaster Whip. If you're at two upper hands, use a Brutal Shot, or if Blaster Whip is on cooldown. Let's, let's say that one more time. Use Blaster Whip if you are at one or zero upper hands, and then Brutal Shots every other time. Because we want to be smashing Brutal Shots as often as possible because it's going to do a whole bunch of dot damage. So here's how it's going to look. You can, you can quite literally play this spec by just clicking, like following the priority system here. I've tested it out. It does perfectly fine damage if you really want to. Um, you don't have to, I personally don't, I'm not really that much of a clicker, I haven't clicked in like nine years, um, but you can totally play this spec by just following the priority system here, get your dots on the target, Sanguary Shot, smash it, point play shot, smash it, Sanguary Shot's on the target, so Bushwhack, and I'll just juggle your uh, upper hands here, uh, and then just fire away, wait for the higher abilities to come off a of cooldown, and then go back to smashing and smashing and smashing. So you can totally play this spec this way, and again, it's very forgiving, so if you mess this up, uh, that's fine. Like, there's no law of the universe here that says, oh, if I use my blaster whip when I should have used my point blank shot, my damage is going to be terrible. Like, no, no, just use the next GCD better next time. That's totally fun. Um, so just follow the basic priority system here of apply your dots, saying where shot, point blank shot, bushwhack when your sandwich shot is on the target, and then just effectively juggle your blaster whip and your brutal shots. Blaster Whip if you're at one or zero upper hands, and then just spend the rest on Brutal Shots and you should be fine. If you run into a very brief global cooldown where you don't have any abilities or you've messed up your upper hands, etc., there are a couple things you can do. There are backup ways to generate your upper hands. For example, you can use your Trick Move. Trick Move is our leap, but it'll also actually generate an upper hand It'll generate an upper hand. So if you use your trick move, it's an easy way to generate one emergency upper hand if you really need to. Additionally, you can use your pungency. Buddy. Jesus Christ. You can use your pungency to generate one more. Is he waiting for me to talk and then moving his head? You are, aren't you? You little rat. You little rat. Pungency will immediately... Will immediately... Pungency will immediately restore 10 energy and give you 10% alacrity. It'll also give you a whole bunch of damage resistance. It'll also start healing you. If you're in PvP, it's more of a defensive cooldown whenever you start getting attacked. If you're in PvE, it's a great way to start building upper hands. Can you, like, stop? <clears throat> little rat. Little rat. So, it's a great way to build an emergency tactical advantage. It's more of an, uh, an offensive cooldown than anything else because you have the extra lacquery to help you, you know, do more damage faster. So, let's quickly walk through what it might look like when you're actually playing it. So, if we walk up here, now if you're in stealth, your uh, point blank shot will actually build an extra tactical advantage. So, let's use our point blank shot to get started. And now, let us begin. Apply our dots to the target. And now, let's work off the priority system here. So, saying we're in shots. Bushwhack, and now we're going to start juggling between building our upper hands. Oh, Duke, you little rat. Ow, ow, that's me, that's me. And then spending on our point blank shots, and then just juggling from here, making sure that we are good to go with all of our priority system here. Our dots are falling off, so we're going to reapply our dots, and we just look back to the rotation here. Okay, 
None of our primary abilities are off cooldown yet, so we can kind of spam our brutal shots. And now we just look back at the rotation of these Royal Combat for cooldown. Love to see that, love to see that, love to see that. And then we just come back to juggling our point blank shots and our smashes with our blaster whip, which is pretty fantastic. Dots are falling off, reapply our dots, don't let them fall off. And now just walk down the priority list here of our highest damaging abilities, which we love to see. And that's really it. It's kind of a spec that you have to get in and start playing yourself, but just follow the basic priority system that we've set up here and you should be ready to rock and roll. If you wanna build this tree on your own, you totally can and literally just play by clicking and seeing, hey, what's the highest off the skill tree here and what's off a of cooldown? Oh, this all makes sense, this all makes sense. Yep, love that, love that, love that. And then you can totally play this way if you really want to. Um, don't have to, I recommend you know actually sitting down and learning it instead of just relying on what's visually not on the top here. Um, but it's a little, uh, little training wheels way to play the spec if you are indeed interested. Let's talk about a brief opener here. Uh, it's gonna look a little bit backwards, but there are some reasons that we're gonna be doing it. Uh, for one, we're gonna start in stealth. We're gonna go point blank shot, shra shrap bomb, sanguary shot, vital shot, and then right into our uh, blaster whips and brutal shots rotation here. It's going to do a whole bunch of opening damage. It, it's the reason that we do it in this funky order is the way that dots tick in this game, but don't really worry about it. It's a bunch of nerd stuff. Are you gonna go down now? Jesus. <sighs> He's being a little rat today. I don't know if you noticed this. All right. So it's gonna look like open with point blank shot, trap bomb, sanguary shots, vital shot, and then you get right into I'm trying to record a guide here, but don't you do it. He's thinking about it. Okay. That's your very basic opener. Follow this priority system and you should be fine. Sit down and practice on me and start practicing and you should be ready to rock and roll. Now we do have some defensive abilities in this spec. Our most important def defensive ability is actually gonna be our healing. We have Slow Reese Med Pack, which is going to heal us for about 18,000 in the next 18 seconds and will stack twice. So it will heal you for like 30,000 over the next 18 seconds. It's a very nice ability. Additionally, every time you use our Scamper, which is our role here, it'll allow you to use your Culto Pack for free without casting on any... Without casting anything thanks to this scurry buff here it looks like a little green dude if you see the green dude it means you can use your culto pack right away for free and heal yourself for like 30,000 damage all right but we also have this ability here called defense screen defense screen will absorb like 30,000 damage it's not that shabby but because we're in ruffian every time your defense screen falls off you'll get this little thing called concussion which can increase our damage reduction which is very very Nice. Additionally, we have our dodge here. Dodge will increase your defense chance by 200% for four seconds. It's very, very nice. And then finally, we have our pu uh, pun pu pugnacity. pugnacity, which will heal you for a whole bunch and give you a whole bunch of damage reduction. It's very, very nice. Those are the basics of your uh, defensive cooldown kit. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. I will be here taking care of Duke instead because he's being a little rat right now. Um, is that you? Is that you? One last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, stat the deck is your raid buff. Uh, it'll give everyone in your raid 10% extra crit chance. It consumes an upper hand, but that's totally fine. You should totally smash it whenever you're pulling a boss. Uh, it helps you do a whole bunch of extra damage. <sighs> that's it. Plier dots, same range shots, double dot damage, point blank shot, increased crit chance. And then just spam blast whip and brutal shots and bushwhack every time you have sanguary shots on the target. That's kind of all there is to know. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yeah, that's all I got. Deuce can continue to be a rat. So, uh, yeah, you guys take care. He's such a menace with this cone. He gets hit on everything. Literally, he's had it for two weeks and he's yet to figure out a doorway. He has smashed his head into every single doorway because he can't figure out that his head is wide now. Little rat. Is that you? Is that you? Are you my little rat? Are you my little rat? He is. Okay. Goodbye.